to 9. Be able for thine enemy, rather in power than use. And keep thy friend under thine own life's key. Be checked for silence, but never tax, taxed for speech. Good morning. William Shakespeare is one of the most famous writers ever lived on the earth. He is often called the English national poet and considered by many to be the greatest dramatist of all time. Today, we the students of class 9 are going to present a play from the book Macbeth written by William Shakespeare. Macbeth was written by William Shakespeare between 1603 and 1606 between Caesar and Hamlet. Macbeth is a brave and loyal thing to King Duncan. However, after hearing a prophecy that he will become king himself, Macbeth is overcome by ambition and greed. Encouraged by the prophecy and his scheming wife, he kills King Duncan and seizes the throne. Afterward, Macbeth's guilty, fear and paranoia led him to commit even more murders to secure his power. His confidence in the prophecies eventually led to his downfall and he is overthrown and killed by those he has wronged. Now let's see the conversation between Macbeth and Lady Macbeth after the murder of King Duncan. made them drunk, have made me bold. What had quenched them had given me fire. Hark! Peace. It was the owl that she, the fatal bellman, which gives the sternest good night. He is about dead. The doors are open and the serrated grooms do mock their charges with snores. I have dropped their posets that death and nature to content about them, whether they live or die. Who's there? What Poe? Oh, I'm afraid they await, and this not done. The attempt, another deed, confounds us. Hark! I laid the dunkers ready. He could not miss him. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband! I have done the deed. Didn't the not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now! As I descended, I... Hark! Who lies in the second chamber? Do not be. This is a sorry sight. A fool is thought to say a sorry sight! Thus one did laugh in sleep and one cried, Murder! That they did wake it up. I stood and heard them, but they did say their prayers and I trusted them. Again to sleep. There are two lost together. One cries, God, bless us. And Amen the other. As they had seen me with this hangman's hand, listening their prayer, I could not say, Amen, when they dared say, God, bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce, Amen? I had most need of blessing, and Amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Me thought, I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep, the innocent sleep, sleep that knits up rival sleeve of care, the death of each day's life, sore labors bad, born of hurt minds, great nature's second verse, cheap nurses in life's peace. What do you mean? Still it cried, sleep no more, to all the house, claim is that murder sleep, and therefore cowder shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that cried? Why, worthy thing, you do unbend your noble strength to think so principally of things. Go, get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. No! Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I have done. Look in though. I dare not. In form of purpose, give me the darkers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. Ties the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms with hell, for it must seem their guilt. Hence is that knocking. 
How's it with me when everybody knows about me? What hands are here? Ha! They pluck out my eyes with all great things. Ocean, wash this blood clean from my hand. No, this hand will rather the multitudinous see in in Cardine, making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but a shame to wear a heart so white. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of the steel. How easy is it then? Your constancy had left you unattended. Hark! More knocking! Get in your nightgown, least occasion call us, and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed, where best not myself. Wake tongue and tie knocking, I would talk. Macbeth is aware of the consequences of his evil actions and foolishly overrides his better judgment. His conscience alerts him to the evil nature of murder. He is fully aware of the even-handed justice or judgment which instructs people about good and evil. Thank you.